a matter of life or death for Colombians waiting for transplants. In 2014, the country's National Health Institute reported that organ donations fell by 15 percent. As CCTV's Michelle Begay reports, Congress took action to save lives. TV personality Adriana Betancourt was living out her dream, working on a Colombian morning talk show. In 2010, her world changed when she experienced renal failure. She was forced to go on dialysis and become one of the thousands of Colombians to be on the kidney transplant list. Any type of illness or situation like the one I experienced can be hard, but waiting for a kidney creates a lot of expectations and fear because your life depends on someone else's goodwill. According to Colombia's National Institute of Health, or NIH, between January and September of 2013, there were only 262 donors, a serious problem for those awaiting an organ. The NIH adds in 2014, 72 Colombians on the organ list died. Last month, Colombia's Congress hoped to change the grim statistics by passing a law that makes organ donation obligatory. If the deceased adult has not expressed his or her objections to organ donations during their lifetime, their organs are automatically put up for transplants. The Colombian Transplant Institute says the law is important along with a strong campaign that explains the benefits of organ donations. You can't obligate anyone in a moment of distress to give away a loved one's organs. But what I think is easier to do is to invest in the spirit of the law, which is to educate about organ donation. Adriana Betancourt says she never knew about organ donation until it affected her life, and she is grateful for the person who gave her a kidney. Today I am alive and healthy, and that is what people don't know. Every one of us who received an organ from that donor are thankful because our lives have changed, not just ours, our whole family. It is estimated that a single donor can save between 7 to 10 lives, benefiting 55 people. Michelle Vegas, CCTV, Colombia.